what's going on YouTube. You know what day it is. Actually, you probably you probably don't know what day it is. Friday, October 2nd, Avengers Age of Ultron comes out. So it it's Blu-ray mission time. So Best Buy has two steelbooks. Well, it's the same steelbook, just the back is different. They have an Ultron back cover and the other one has Vision on it. Then they got a regular release and, and a 3D release. They don't have the five slip covers from Walmart like they did with Captain America, The Winter Soldier, and Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm a little upset by that because I like collecting the slip covers. But nonetheless, we're gonna go ahead and try to get both steel books. I'm gonna be there before the doors open again because if you remember, I missed out on Mad Max. I showed up at noon. All the steel books were gone. I'm supposed to be the Blu-ray king and I missed out on the Mad Max steel book. I feel like the Blu-ray peasant right now. Let's go get this Avenger steel book. Mission log. I'm outside the beast. There's no line at the door. But there's plenty of people waiting with their cars. That's probably because it's fucking cold outside. I'm not walking out of here without both of those steel books. I refuse. I vehemently refuse. October 2nd, I take revenge from that Max Tailbook. There is the beast. Bag of shit. But what's in the bag? What's in the bag? I don't know. We'll have to find out when we get back to the house. But I got this game shop because my brother told me at this buyback place they have Boba Fett Disney Infinity Figure, which doesn't come out. 2016. Unless you buy it on PlayStation. So I'm gonna go see if they still have that. I hit the highway switching them lanes, man. I'm on your avenue, just getting my change. Alright, we're back here at the house. We're gonna jump right into it. I got both steel books. The Ultron and the Vision. I had to. When I walked up, as you guys saw, there was a line there of people that formed. All my courtesy went out the window. I went to the front of the line, on the other side, so I started my own line. This old guy walks up, he's asking if there's some kind of sale going on, I tell him, I said, no, the Avengers is coming out. And he goes, oh, yeah, that's it? I said, yeah, let's go. Then he said I could have gone to Walmart to get it. And I was like, but they got a, they got a special case in here. He says, all those tin cases? Yeah, I've seen those. I've got one of those. So at this time, the door opens. I rush to go get my two steel books. I'm looking around the, uh, the little island they got there, and I see this old man walk straight to the Avengers and pick up a steel book. All that shit he was talking. So let's slice both of these open and see what's on the inside. We got the Jackhawk 9000 to open these. It slices and it dices. Very nice glossy finish. All of this is embossed or yeah, it's embossed right there. No, it's not embossed. It is embossed. It's embossed. It's confirmed it's embossed. We're gonna pull that off. Got Ultron there. And on the back, what do we got for bonus features? From the inside out, the infinite Six, better than the Sinister Six. Global Adventure, deleting and extended scenes, gag reel, and audio commentary. I can't wait to hear the audio commentary on that. I like hearing what the director leaves out. You know, what they originally had, or some troubles with the scenes. I like hearing all that shit. Now for the back. Here we have Ultron. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Open it up, pop these out. Pop this one open. So again... Exactly the same, 
except the vision on the back. On the inside here, if you take out the discs, there's the inside artwork. There's the front and back with a comparison of both there. I was also able to pick up Return to Center. Now I saw a preview for this movie and it's got Rosamund Pike who plays Amazing Amy in Gun. This is a great movie, okay? I've probably seen it about 20 times. She's fucking crazy in that movie. And it seems like she told her agent, I loved Amazing Amy. Find me all parts that are similar because she's pretty much similar from what I've gathered in the previews. She gets raped by this dude and then ends up falling in love with him and shit gets crazy. So can't wait to check this out. Then I had to go get some frames for these posters that I got when I went to Comic-Con last week. I'm going to show you my posters real quick, but I was able to pick up a blue there. The Death of Superman Lives, signed by John Schnepp. Look for the Blu-ray update coming soon. And my Game of Thrones poster for The Hound. The infamous chicken scene. So while I'm looking for frames, I see they got a stack of Blu-rays there. Lo and behold, what do I find? White Lion. And this is some kind of documentary on a White Lion Club. I love all these uh, documentaries on, on animals in Africa. You know, the Serengeti and shit. All that just amazes me. It's like, you see that shit, hunting at the water hole. All that, man. I love all that. So then, as I told you, my brother told me about the buyback store with the Boba Fett Disney Infinity figure. Now, I thought this figure came out on Tuesday with the Rise of the Republic playset, but apparently it's not scheduled until 2016. So I bought the Rise of the Republic playset the other day, and I only bought that set. I didn't buy any of the other characters because I really only wanted Boba Fett. So I went to the shop, and lo and behold, they had Boba. So I was able to get this. All right, that's all I got for you on this week's edition of the Blu-ray Mission. Thanks for coming along with me. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Be sure to check out my last video where I unboxed a package from one of my Instagram followers. And again, be on the lookout for that Death of Superman Lives Blu-ray update. And until the next time I see you, stay true and stay blue. Oh yeah. I'm home tonight.